Let's see if it works this time. I'm sorry about that, you guys. I mean, we've just been, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I have, okay, I'm just gonna watch it. <laughs> I'm just gonna watch. I have a little picture of me below here too. I have no idea what that's about. I've never seen that before. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for joining me today. <laughs> Sarah, hi, Denise, hello, hello. Oh good, it's working, I mean, you know, it's crazy. You can see and hear me. That's always a good sign, right? I'm here. Hi, Chandel, good to see you. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I didn't dare flip the camera because that's when it all went wonky. So we don't, we're not flipping the camera today, so everything's backwards. You okay with that? <laughs> I am okay that you're here. Carol says, now I can hear this, good. Thanks, Carol, for letting me know. It's still freezing, Deborah. Go out and come back and see if that helps. Hi, Julie and Yolanda. Good to see you. Juanita, thank you. Glad you're here. Thank you, everyone, for showing up, even with our glitches. And if you're still having glitchy stuff, people are saying they can hear me and they can see me now. So my strong suggestion is you go out and come back in. Good grief. Hi, Jennifer. Good to see you. Jackie's in the house. You know, y'all, sometimes we have little glitches. And so you won't be seeing today when I go to show you our new quote of the week. It's going to be completely backwards. <laughs> so whatever. Are you, are you willing to roll with it? I think you are. I know you are. I know you guys. I know how this, you, you work the same way that I do. I mean, we just do what we need to do, right? Sometimes we just need to get through things and, and just quit being little princesses. I was being a little princess and I was having, but I have this here and I have that here. What's all of this about? Who knows? Anyway, welcome. It's Motivational Monday. Are you ready? Today is the first day of the hydration challenge. How about that? Can you deal with it? I've started mine. I'm almost done with my water. I have um, I have a little bit of water maybe up here still on my bike because I did my bike. Have you ever had a really great day where you just, you wrote everything out and you just went and you did it anyway, even when you didn't want to do it? That's what started me on this whole idea of what I'm going to be sharing with you today. And um, I'm excited about this because you know, it, it there's always th there's always a, another little edge, another little inch, another little something to learn, isn't there? That's how I feel about it. And for those of you who are just joining me today, this um, you know me, I'm Leanne Ely. For heaven's sakes, we started menu planning with dinner with um, our dinner answers thing, which used to be menu mailer way back in the day. Um, Saving Dinner is our website, and I am a New York Times bestselling author. I've written a few books, 10 actually, and I haven't done one in a while, but we almost have another one coming out. Really excited about that, Marlon. I will be sharing when it's ready, but almost there. It's ready to pop. It's like a turkey in the oven, and the little, the little thingy's coming right out. It's ready to go boing. I'm ready. Put a fork in it. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. And I'm glad you're here too, thank you. I'm so glad you're here. So our show, this show is called The Daily Dish because we're on every day except Sundays and it's putting vibrancy back into your everyday life, whether it's heart, mind, body, or soul. Because you know, what I have found over the years is that when we start to say, this is one thing over here and this is another thing over there and, and separating our lives out from our bodies, out from our souls and our hearts and our minds, we live disjointedly, don't we? And I say, let's forget about all that segmentation. Let's bring it all back because we are one unique, wonderfully made woman that deserves to be the rising tide in her own life and lift all the things up. That's what we're talking about today and I'm really delighted that you're here. Thank you so much for for being here. And thank you too, Sarah, last week she shared her pants off. <laughs> Can I just say? She shared like she meant it, and she did. It was lovely shares. 
But if you share this, share it publicly, if you will, and we will send you a whole spice blend and some salt and some fun stuff from our friends over at Ava Jane's um, Spice Company. They just have an amazing array of stuff. So please share publicly, share, say a little something about this and we'll see it because we are looking. And on Friday, Friday or Saturday, we will be giving away um, another little package of goodies, which I don't have with me right now, but I'll, I'll have it for you tomorrow. Anyway, thank you for being here. This Thursday, we have an immunity webinar coming up. It's the Immunity High Five. I'm going to teach you about what your immune system is and what it isn't, okay? And you can get signed up for this because I am so excited about this particular webinar. You know, we need to understand what our immune systems are all about, what we can and what we cannot do, because that's just the truth. That's the way it is. There are things we can do. There are things that we cannot do. So I want to teach you a little bit about this and what needle movers there are. Because this is the idea, okay? There's a whole philosophy out there um, in the world today. There's the germ philosophy and also the, the host philosophy in, in, and theory would even be a word, in, in the whole medical establishment as well. Is it about being germ-free or is it about being a stronger, um, a stronger constitution so you don't get sick? Well, I think it's a little bit of both to be quite honest with you. That's my theory on the whole thing. But I'm gonna show you how to be an inhospitable host so that you are not the victim of every cold that comes along. So you're not the victim of all the flus and everything else. And God forbid, the other big virus that we've all, I don't even want to give it a name anymore. I'm so tired of talking about it. <laughs> but we need to have good, healthy immune systems. Good, healthy immune systems gives us a good, healthy body. And it makes us feel better. And we are not going to succumb to, uh, you know, the latest thing that's going along. So, yeah, you in for it? savingdata.com forward slash immunity. It's free, of course, and we will help you out. Julie, I will help you with your cold and show you what you need to do in order to feel great, you know, in order to feel good, in order to really help your immune system out. There you go. Yvonne, I see your hand up. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. We also, every Friday, of course, we have Q and A's. Great questions from last time. Send them in to, um, to support at savingdinner.com in the subject line question for Leanne on Friday, and I will answer it. Whether you have a supplement question, a nutrition question, a cooking question, whatever. I've even demonstrated the way I put my hair up in my glorious knot. So, I mean, believe me, nothing's off the table, almost. We also have our, speaking of glorious, let me bring to you Look what it's sitting here in a full blown bloom mug. Look, our skincare got here and I am just over the moon excited about it. There are three components to it. Check it out. Aren't they beautiful? They've got little dogwood flowers on them. This is our Wise Women Skincare and it has a deep moisture serum. It has a deep moisture cream and it has the Wise Women's Eye, Neck and Lip Cream and I am going to do a demonstration for you later on this week. We'll do it. We'll, yeah, I'm going to do that. You're going to get to see me barefaced. Yay, lucky for you. <laughs> no, no eye makeup. Maybe I'll leave a little eye makeup on because I just fade otherwise without it. But the whole point is this is an easy to use skincare um, this, that is just, if you have sensitive skin like I do, uh, suffered from rosacea, whatever it is, this skincare is just, it, feeds your skin. It's nutrients for your skin. I love this stuff. You can get it right now in the trio to savingdinner.com forward slash trio. Strong suggestions that you grab it now. We should get some more in hopefully in time for Christmas, but we're running low. It is flying out the door. So grab yours, savingdinner.com forward slash trio and get lean. Whoop. There you go. This, this is conjugate, conjugate, congeliac acid. Okay, linoleic acid. Let me tell you what this stuff does though. All the studies tell you it takes care of belly fat and thigh fat. It's like it has my name on it, you know? 
You take three of these a day. I thought it was two, but apparently it's three. See this, I just can't even read these labels. I've been taking two, I'm now taking three. Somebody wrote in to say that, <laughs> so thank you for that. But you take three in the morning, take it with your smoothie. Take it first thing in the morning with your smoothie. This is how our supplements work as food. Body identifies them as food, and that's when you start to, to use them all, except for SAME, of course, and left effects. But this is our, our supplement of the week. If you put three in your cart, you'll get a fourth one free. We'll do it ourselves for you. And if you put ships free in the, in the coupon code, we'll ship it to you free as long as you live here in the United States as well. It's a screaming deal. Take advantage of that. Um, also, we have a new quote of the week. You want to know what our quote of the week is? Don't leave your, there's, it's anonymous by the way. Don't leave your longings unattended. We've always heard that. Don't leave your belongings unattended. Well, don't leave your longings unattended either. And I was thinking about this particular um, quote. And you know, one of the things that we have a tendency to do is put ourselves on the very far back burner, if, if even on, still on the stovetop to even cook. Everybody else is getting attended to, everyone else but your longings, your desires of your heart, your dreams, your visions, they get pushed aside for everybody else's. And you know, that might seem like a, a really kind of a cool thing to do and kind of a, you know, a very giving thing to do. And I say, forget about it because you need to fit into the equation. Or you're gonna find yourself in a few years really kind of resentful and angry. So let's not do that. Let's not leave our longings unattended. They deserve to be looked at just like everybody else's. You deserve to be fit into the equation, okay? Pinky's up, ladies. This is, this is the good stuff. This is the juicy stuff. This is what helps us to become the women we wanna be by not ignoring who we are. So there. All right, today, uh, you know, I have so much to talk to you about today. This is all from my, my quiet time in the mornings. And you know, I've talked to you about that before. Having a sacred space for ourselves is a way for us to move the needle in our lives and get the very things that we want. We go beyond vision and we go into actually doing something about that vision that we see. We start setting goals and we start making sure that it's included in our day. And as a matter of fact, um, our Take Back Your Life journal, I can't reach it, but our Take Back Your Life journal is exactly what this teaches you to do and then do it in 90 day set segments so that you can have a life that lights you up. We put ourselves off. That's why I love this whole quote of the week. We put ourselves off. We forget we're the last one on the list. You know, that's not the way it, it, it needs to be. We need to be the women who take care of ourselves. We need to be the women who, who have a vivid vision of what it is that we want in our lives and start to pursue it. I'm gonna tell you something, and you've probably heard me say this before, but our purpose on this earth, every single one of us, is to help one another. Now, how that's gonna work out in your life is between you and, and your God, really. But we are here to help one another. Have you noticed how you feel when you help others? How you feel like a, a, a complete person and how you feel like you're the hands and feet of, of God? You know, we can do that kind of work when we're purposeful. And it'll show up and we will look for evidence to support those things that we're thinking about. And we're starting to see things come into our lives so that we can start creating that life. That's how it works. That's how it works, that's how your brain works. But the first thing that we have to do is we have to make that decision that this is something that we wanna do. So today when I was, <clears throat> I was getting ready, I have my little, you know, I do my morning thing, the dishwasher, the this, the that, I do all the things. And then I go in after I've done all of that and um, I have the, my sacred time. I have a meditation time, I, I write in my journal, um, I'm looking at my goals. I'm using my Take Back Your Life journal. By the way, you can get that with the training, savingdinner.com forward slash journal. 
It's $15 for the digital version and you'll have it for life and you can do all kinds of stuff with it. But it's really cool because you'll start to see how you can connect the dots to the things that you're doing in your life on a daily basis to those big goals that you put out for yourself. And you'll start seeing yourself achieving them. And as you see yourself achieving them, the confidence builds, the momentum builds, the motivation builds, who you are becomes somebody very different. Have you seen that? I have seen this over and over and over again, over and over and over again. I've watched women bloom before my eyes and it's just, I can't even tell you what that does for my heart. It just, sometimes I cry because it's that incredible. But our modern writing, and I've been reading things, watching things, you know, forever have been in the, the wellness space they like to say that everything, uh, don't work too hard. Everything should be, here's the shortcut, here's the hack. If you understand the science, you can just get beyond this. And you do all this, do all that. Um, and that there's a lazy way to everything. We want that, don't we? We want the lazy way to everything. Um, we want the one ingredient thing. We want the one pill, the one pill that we haven't been, that they're holding back from us. They haven't given us the secret thing. This, this Tunisian secret or the secret African fruit, all this stuff. You've seen, how many times have you seen that? I know you've seen it all over the place. It's clickbait. That's what it's called. Clickbait. In other words, they want to grab your attention right with such, such, um, such, persuasiveness that you're going to say, I don't care what it is. I want this. And sometimes it's a big scam. I mean, I, and I've had people send me stuff that say, well, what do you think of this? Like, you know, well, so-and-so likes it. Judge Judy likes this skincare. It's a scam. Look it up. All this, a lot of scams out there, people scamming you. It's easy. It's not hard. Blah, 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 blah. You just need to know the secret ingredient. You just need to know that secret little thing. Well, I'm here to tell you that the secret sauce to all of this is hard work. That the secret sauce to all of this is getting out of being in your subconscious and getting into the consciousness of living and being aware of how you're spending your time, of where you're putting your energy. Last week's you know, quote of the week, where your energy goes, your, where, where your focus goes, your energy flows. We know this, and if it's on nothingness, you're gonna get that back in return, it, right? Right? So, and then we're told, well, you know what? We need to be grateful for what we have. You've heard me say that too, but we start with grat gratitude. If you use our Take Back Your Life journal, you know we start with gratitude because gratitude opens up that, that beautiful self. It opens up our empathy. It, be, it makes us more human more loving, more kind, more generous, the good parts of ourselves that we want more of. That's what it does when we have hearts of gratitude. When we're speaking and whining and moaning and complaining our lives away, our brains are literally shrinking. And not only that, but we are polluting everyone around us. Have you noticed? It's really ugly. It's just not edifying edifying at all, at all. But here's the thing that I know, that even when things get hard, even when we're trying to deal with stuff, we know without a shadow of a doubt that even if it's hard and we go through it anyway and we say, I'm going to do this anyway, that we feel pretty darn good about ourselves. And feeling good about ourselves really is sort of the end desire that we're trying to feed. We don't want to feel bad. I mean, today, you know, I told you last week, remember I told you last week, take a cold shower, do it like a 30 second cold shower. I made it to 15 seconds, y'all. I couldn't do it, but I felt good that I gave it an attempt. I, I said, want, and I did not turn around to get it on my back, by the way, but I did it. I did it. I did it as much as I could. I did it with the effort that I, I had at the time, but today my day flowed flawlessly. Now, is it ever always gonna do that? No, but today it flowed flaw, flaw, flawlessly. You know, I got on the bike 15 minutes later than I wanted to, missed the class, that's all right. They have recorded ones, did a recorded class. 
Then I did a, a arm exercises, like I said I was going to. I held off not eating and did a 19 hour um, fast. So I did all the things that I wanted to and as those little things added up, instead of saying, ah, I just don't have time, and I'll just put that back, I did it anyway. I said, well, I'm 15 minutes late. Am I gonna throw the baby out with the bathwater? No, I'm gonna get on top of it. I'm gonna get on it. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. And here's something that I wrote. These, these are, this is the page from my journal today that I'm sharing. Um, the, the, Mary Alice is asking, why a cold shower? I'm saying, do a cold shower, make yourself uncomfortable so that you can feel what it feels like to, to just do something that's a little bit less than what you wanna do. You know, that's all. It's, it's not because we want to, it's not because it's fun, but it's good to do things to shake the box a little bit. That's why we did it. So here's what I wrote. Even though it's uncertain, hard, don't wanna do it, it's raining, don't feel like it, you have a busy day, too much on your plate, tomorrow I'm gonna to get through it, and get to, and I gotta figure out a better time, it's not working the way it is, blah, 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 blah. This is what I had written in my diary, in, in my journal, because this is the stuff that I always say, right? These are, the, these are the things that I fall back on, and I've heard too, from a number of you. And so, you know what I wrote? Stop, drop, and roll. Because what you've just done there, Leanne, is you've just lit your goals on fire. When we are on fire, we're told to stop, don't run, stop, hit the floor, drop, and roll. Put that fire out. Well, that's what I was doing here. I put the fire out. If you light your goals on fire day after day like this, then it's time to stop, drop, and roll. We don't want our goals on fire. We want our goals lit up, but not torched to the ground. You got that? It's a whole litany of excuses that we give to our, that we have for ourselves that, we, that are convenient to use, to bring out. And yeah, this is what, what else I wrote. Uh, excuses are energy suckers and give you mental fatigue. Because have you noticed that? I'm not gonna do that. Well, maybe I should. Well, you know, not right now, and this, that, and the other thing. And it puts you to this place of being so weary. If instead, if you just say, you know what, I'm just gonna do it anyway. I'm done with that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna have this discussion. I'm not gonna negotiate with terrorists. I've said this before, because sometimes you're the terrorist. You're the terrorist trying to negotiate and trying to weasel your way and trying to finesse the situation when all you need to do is do it. Um, I, I also wrote this down, no longer allow the back and forth. It's do, not try, said Yoda, which is right. And when you go all the way and you go all in, you understand that everything is on the line. It is up to me. If I wanna meet my fitness goal, then I'm gonna have to do the fitness on myself. I can't have somebody else do it for me. That fitness requires that bike. That fitness requires those weights over there. This fitness requires that I show up and I just do it. That fitness isn't asking me how I feel. Fitness isn't saying, is it a hard day for you? It's okay. Fitness isn't gonna require me to you know, give a speech. Fitness just says, show up. If this is my goal, then I just have to show up, put your shoes on, and go. And for me, I have to clip them on. They're, they're clip-on shoes, they're just crazy. So the thing is, everything, not just the thing itself, not just my goal, which is the fitness goal, which I shared with you, but it, everything is on the line. Who you are is also on the line because if you've taken the time to create these, in, create this whole thing, this goal of yours into steps, and if you've taken the time to write things down and block time off for it and all of that, everything's on the line, everything. Because your integrity, who you are shows up in what you do, not what you say, right? That's why. Your word, if your word is your bond and you're breaking your word to yourself, what does that mean about what you're gonna do with others? Huh? No. Or your self-worth, how do you feel when you let yourself down day after day 
after day. You made a promise. You made a commitment. You said I was going to do it and then you didn't. How does that make you feel? What does that do to your self-worth? What does it do to your integrity? What is it? How does it ding you? It dings me. It dings me like hard. And it makes me feel like, you know what? <sighs> My word is worthless. My word is worthless. I don't want you to feel like that ever, ever. Because your word isn't worthless. Your integrity is everything. Your commitment and the depth of your character, you have the ability to do this. You just need to completely decide, I'm just gonna do it anyway. That's it. Your boundaries then create a structure for the character of your life. They create a structure for the woman that you decided you're gonna be. Your boundaries of saying, no, I'm not gonna do that. And I've created this time from 9 a.m. in the morning till 10 a.m. And, and in the morning. I've got this hour, that's my hour. So therefore, I am going to show up. I'm gonna put the shoes on. I am gonna get onto the bike. I'm gonna put the headphones in. And even if I don't wanna do it, I'm going to do it anyway. And before I know it, it'll be done. And that is my mantra. The whole, th I'm just going to do it anyway. Every single freaking time. Because I don't want to be in the place of having my whole, having everything fall apart. I don't want that. I don't want my, my character to fall apart. I don't want my, my integrity to get dinged. I don't want my word to mean nothing. That's what's on the line. So commitment is the cure to complacency and excuse. I wrote this down, which I thought was really good. Commitment is the cure. It is a cure to complacency. It is the cure to excuse. You do it anyway. And when you do it anyway, you show up for yourself. And get this. I shared this with you, I believe, a couple of weeks ago. That if you commit 100%, that's so much easier than committing 95 or 98 percent because at 95 or 98 percent there's a lot of latitude there you can still start talking yourself out of it you can still start doing whatever but if you're standing there in the shower and you turn it to cold you're committed <laughs> same idea and this is the thing that we're talking about this is the part that moves the needle not just in your weight not just in your fitness, not just in anything, but in anything and everything that you do when there's no wiggle room. You know, you just do it. It is a moment of commitment and at that moment of commitment should shift everything, everything. Because 100% doesn't allow for the wiggle. It doesn't, it just says show up. Okay, I know you've got something going. I mean, obviously if somebody has fallen down and they're bleeding, you can't say, hey, wait, you know, there, things happen, but there's also a lot of times where things just don't happen and we still look for the wiggle. We still look for the excuse. Your favor, your vibe is raised. Your dreams, your visions, your goals become distinct possibilities now when you have that. Distinct possibilities. Before pie in the sky, oh, a dream, a vision, a whatever. But now distinct possibility because every single day that time's carved out and it's yours and there's no, there's no budging. There's no moving that needle because you're there, you're in it, you're staying. So determine then to see things through. Determine then, oh, it's coming and I'm just not going to want to do it, but I'm still going to do it because it's not a negotiable thing. There's nothing about this that's negotiable. It's written in stone, it's tablets, it's written in iron, gold, platinum, whatever you wanna write it in. But we can do that with ourselves. You know that, we can do that with ourselves. There is a full and proper conclusion then that we can make. We're gonna make our goals, you know? We're gonna make our goals. We're gonna actually see this through. It's not just gonna be pie in the sky, it's gonna be an actual thing that happens. Step by step by step. We had Sarah, who last year, last week was the winner, but Sarah has lost, I don't know, 20 pounds in 25 or 30 days. You know why? This is what we're talking about. She made the time and she pulled back. When she saw something that wasn't working, she pulled back and she fixed the not working part. 
She made non-negotiables. She got up early. She did the things that she needed to do in order to start hitting it. And guess what? She's on fire. And the reason why? Because she, inch by inch, you know, she didn't wake up and boom, lose 20 pounds in a week. But she woke up and decided it's time to change. And this is what I'm saying to you. Every single day, we lose, we lose weight ounce by ounce. But ounce by ounce by ounce by ounce, boy, does that add up. We learn something new, a new skill by reading a, a, a word, a sentence, a paragraph, a chapter, a book at a time. We learn something new. It all adds up inch by inch by inch. If we add, if we just let a little bit of water into our house, what's going to happen in the end of a month? You know, that little bit of water is going to add up and we're going to have a big old mold problem. So that determination invites opportunity that might not otherwise exist and that you might not otherwise experience just by saying this is an unmovable boundary. That time from nine to 10 is sacrosanct. I'm not going to allow anyone or anything into it. There is a barbed wire fence around that time. It's yours. It's yours. Look at that. Sarah says 21.4 pounds as of this morning, and I did a run yesterday <laughs> that I didn't want to do, but I felt great afterwards. That's the thing that we need to do because the whole, where all of our energy goes is into the I don't want to. What if we shifted our energy instead and said, I'm going to put my energy and focus on how I will feel after I do this. Not only will your self-worth rise, not only will your feeling of satisfaction with yourself that you have done this rise, but everything about it is you're going to take with you. All that good feelingness will go with you for the rest of the day. It will impact your work. It will impact your relationships. It will impact the people around you. You are the rising tide at that point. And you're lifting all the boats. And you're lifting all the boats. So resolve that less energy to be fully committed than 98% committed. Just, that's just not a part. You just won't do that anymore. That 98% thing, forget about it. We are in it 100%. Pinkies up, ladies. That 100% changes everything. It changes your focus. It changes your commitment. It changes the, the energy because now the energy can flow to where you want it to go. Because if you are willing to do whatever it takes and you're saying that to yourself right now, I am willing to do whatever it takes. I am willing to have ironclad boundaries around that precious, sacred time of mine. I am willing to do these things and line these things up. Nothing will stop you. Nothing can stop you. Because even if something happens, God forbid that you know you have a, an emergency, you're still gonna figure out a way to, fig to figure it out for later on in the day because it means that much to you. There is no such thing as an excuse thing. It means your mind's made up and now it's the time to decide. What are you gonna do about all of this? What are you gonna do with this? Are you gonna make a decision for yourself? Or are you gonna make a decision for just this bleh, milk toast life? Mediocre, oatmeal, the cream of wheat. Think of it, wallpaper paste, think of bland. Think of, you know? Or do you wanna be on fire for your life? Do you wanna be on fire for the things that you're accomplishing? Do you want all of it? I don't know about you, but I want the whole, the whole enchilada, all of it every last piece of it. I'm not, when I'm done, I don't want to leave anything behind. I just want to, I mean, you know, you know, beam me up, Scotty. I'm done. There's nothing left. Mountains are scaled one step at a time. And when we use our take back your life journal, we can see the record of what it is that we've accomplished. That 90 days, that 90 days suddenly is representative of your whole year because you do it for 90 days here, you do it again, you do it again, and you do it one more time and you won't even recognize who you are at the end of the year. It could have something to do with the size of jeans you're wearing. It could have something to do with the new career that you've chosen for your life. It could have something to do with the just the quality 
of your life, the quality. You get to choose that. You get to say, I'm worth the time. I'm worth the effort. I am worth the commitment. And there's no more 95%. It's 100%. I'm in it to win it all the way. You don't go up to the altar and say to your dearly beloved, you know, that you commit, that you, uh, that you vow to love them forever and ever, amen, and hopefully you'll stay, you'll stay committed and hopefully you'll stay true. <laughs> you don't say that. You just do it because that's what a marriage is built on is that kind of a commitment. You have a marriage really to yourself. Who you are on the inside needs to permeate and be and show up for the strong woman that you want to be. That strong woman. You have a physical part of you. You have a spiritual part of you. You have an emotional part of you. You have things in your life that need improving, right? Don't we all? You have things in your life that you're unhappy about. Don't we all? But if you can commit to being on fire for those parts of your life and commit it to taking it all the way, no excuses, no prisoners, no boundaries in firm place to guard that time so you can work on that very thing, then you're gonna have exactly what it is that you want. Can you imagine having a life like that? Can you imagine the richness in your heart? Can you imagine the richness in, in your life and around you with the people around you as well? How much they're going to benefit? Having a mother who's fully present, having a spouse who is committed to a relationship that's not just a committed relationship, but a relationship with richness and depth. That's what I want for you. All the things. And we can have that when we make a decision for it. We can have it at any time. It's not just for those other people, it's for you too. So who's with me? You gonna do it? Are we committed? When we commit, we put our pinkies up because that's a promise. That's a promise to ourselves. And pinkies up, ladies, because this is what I see for you. I see for you the life you want, and it's beautiful. And I'm here to help you in any way that I can. So thank you so much again for showing up and for sharing this video publicly and saying a little something about it. We have a lot of lovelies that we want to bring into our community. And don't forget, this Thursday, you're going to want to get signed up because that's how it works with this particular thing get signed up for our immunity webinar. All of our immune, immunity supplements are going to be in the shop as of Wednesday. And I'm so excited about it. And I, But it's more than just supplements. There's a whole thing involved. Understanding your immune system is crucial. So be there, savingdinner.com forward slash immunity. I will see you tomorrow. Peace be with you. Love you guys. Bye.